Okay, thanks for visiting the site. We're going to put together a uh, cardboard DSLR camera. The plans for the camera are on the bottom of this particular video. You can see them down below. Okay, we'll start off by creating the viewfinder assembly. I find an easy way to do that is to put a bit of sticky on the back of the template and simply cut around it. Once you've got it cut out, just score along the dotted lines indicated on the template. I used a plastic ruler, that seems to work well. And you can see we get nice clean folds. We'll come to the back to the viewfinder assembly later. Okay, making the lens here. There's two parts to the lens, a large barrel and a small barrel. Simply copy the diameters of the barrels and cut two of the large, that's number 14, on your template and two of the small, number 12, on your template. Cut them out so you'll end up with four barrels, two of each size. Then cut the connecting pieces, 13, 15, 17 and 16. Simply mark them on a piece of cardboard and cut out the lengths as marked on the templates. Leave a little bit extra and you can always trim it off later. When you come to part 16, strip off one side of the cardboard to reveal the flutes and then that'll be the corrugations for the knurled grips for later. When you've done that, you should end up with all the parts ready to assemble the lens. I find the easiest way to assemble it is stick half of the lens barrel cardboard onto the side plates and then add the other side. Measure off the length and trim it, cut to suit and then glue it off. Trim off any bits. And then do the same with the second one, which is the, the larger size barrel. Once you've got both barrels finished, simply glue them together. Make sure that the two seams line up because we can tuck those away underneath later when we come to assemble the camera. I find putting a piece of black cardboard on the front just finishes it off. The easiest way to do that is to glue a bit of cardboard on the front and just trim off the excess. Put the fluted pieces onto the lens. Again, make sure that you start off at the bottom of the lens where the joins are. Add the lens rings. On the front lens ring, just make sure that half the lens ring is overhanging the front of the lens. And there we've got a completed lens. Okay, time to cut out the body. Start off by cutting both the top and the bottom plate. Trim off corners. You'll need two of those. Once they're done, cut out parts number two. And then finally, cut out part number three from your template. And last but not least, the shutter button. Once you've done that, cut out the body of the camera. Then continue to cut out the back plates. Plate number eight. Then the monitor window. Finally, we need to create the two buttons, button number six, which is the selector wheel, 
and button number five, which is the function button. Cut two thin strips, give them a bit of a twist, and curl them up. Spring them to about the right size. So both numbers five and six are the same size. Make it easy. A little bit of glue. Create two of these. When they're done, again, the easiest way to do these is to stick them onto another piece of cardboard and trim around them. Once they're done, in the same way that you put the lens assembly together, do exactly the same for the body, do the edges, trim off any bits, and now we come back to the original viewfinder assembly, glue the ends up so that you should end up with a piece looking pretty similar to this. Once we've done that, we're pretty much ready to put the whole thing together. Okay, first thing to go on is the viewfinder assembly. Then we're ready to put the top components on. Component number two, three, then the shutter button, and finally the function button. Then the components on the back, component number eight, then the monitor window, and finally the selector wheel. Last of all, plenty of glue on the lens. Make sure that the seam is at the bottom, and we're done. Thanks for watching.